Saturday, they're going to show on television the other side. And they're going to, the, the uh, Trump lawyers are going to be speaking for like 12 hours at a time. I can't wait to hear that one. I mean, this, the, the, uh, Adam uh, Schiff quoted a lot of the founding fathers. Who have they got besides Benedict Arnold from that era? <laughs> <laughs> number one. And number two, if they're so um, restless that Rand Paul is doing a crossword puzzle and Lindsay has to go to the bathroom a hundred times, <laughs> well, there are 400 bills sitting on Mitch McConnell's desk right now that impacts you and me. And they're doing nothing about it. Get off your butts, do your job, sit there and listen. Mm -hmm. That's the least you can do for the American people. This is actually, you know, I know that uh, Trump, Trump uh, wanted uh, these lawyers because he likes the TV lawyer. He likes that kind of yeah, vitriolic yeah. Yeah. Um, The Epstein lawyers. Yeah. Are they going to be there, the Epstein lawyers? I, I believe so. Yeah. And, uh, but that is not going to play well to Chief Justice Roberts. And let's face it, the framers wanted the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court to be in the chamber because this is a very somber, this is a very serious uh, trial. And so that type of thing that Trump likes is not going to happen. And mm -hmm. so they're going to have to uh, have a different type of decorum here. And I think what's also going to be very interesting to watch is what are they going to say? Are they going to combat the facts? Are they going to try to attack the process? What really are we going to hear? Because I think we have well, to we're hear not gonna know something until we different. Know, right? Well, we'll we're, see. It. We'll see to, one over the weekend. Yeah. To, to the point of Roberts uh, being the schoolmaster uh, saying, you know, behave yourselves. Yeah. At the same time that Roberts was admonishing them for their poor behavior, your president was in Davos calling Jerry Nadler a sleazebag and Adam Schiff a con, a con job and a corrupt politician, okay? So, please, the hypocrisy is but nauseating. You, Lindsey Graham said that Schiff did a wonderful job. He yes. said he, he wasn't he, even he there. How does he know? He was in the bathroom. But he did, he did, <laughs> he did say that he did a great job. A loser. So that's yeah, but you know, you, you, this is how I feel about it. I, I don't care if they're losers. All I want them to do is their jobs. I want them to follow what's supposed to be done. All this name calling and what, who's not, who's falling asleep. That place is hot. It's a hot room. We, I, listen, I sit here and I space out. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it does happen from time to time. It does. But I just want to make sure that they are doing, if, if there is a crack in the thing where someone finally can come over and say, you know, you may, this was a great speech. That's what Lindsay said. That, well, I want that because we keep yeah. saying we want people to become civil again. Yeah. That's a civil statement. That's yeah. not your side is, you know, old and stupid. Your yeah. side. That's, that was really well done. Yeah. I'll take that as a beginning mm -hmm. of civility. Yeah. I believe that civility, if we practice long enough, mm -hmm. we might be able to bring it back. And even, we might be able to do it. And you know? even Rand Paul said that there were four to eight Republican senators that still had not made up their minds in calls, terms, but that's terms of but that's witness, having up. witnesses. And, and I, I am happy to hear that they are open yeah. to this discussion.